Gwen, what I want to ask you is, what size developments for an investment point of view is good to focus on? So um, if an investor is looking at a new build development, talking about profit, speed, risk, elements like that, um, is there a, a set, is it something they should lean to over um, another? If you're dipping your toe in first time, I would do a one-off, one-off house. Um, but again, you gotta get the, the site at the right price, understand the build costs, etc., cetera, et cetera. Um, th there's no magic number in what size. It's supposed to do with manageability. Um, but if, say, somebody came to, came to us and said, we wanna build a, a 40 house scheme, but then none of the infrastructure in place to do it, mm -hmm. we, would, we would, in essence, almost form a, a design and build type delivery and um, when we've done this previously where we work for the client then we get innovated across to the contractor where we work under the contractor and do a design and build um, type service um, there, there's no right or wrong on that um, you do get the the economies of scale if you're building more um, but then you've got to look into the idea of the cost of actually standardization and replication you know so you maybe you do a 30 house scheme but you bring up five house types and you, you copy them wrong and that's something um, but it, there's no magic number and um, I suppose if you're looking at value you want to look at house densities um, so we talk about house per acre um, and that's that's defined by market um, so again if you're doing your, your 350k sale value houses they'll expect a big garden a double garage and a yeah. driveway and a front garden um, so your your HPA might be let's say between 9 and 11 houses per acre um, Whereas if, you, if you're in a more of a starter home area and you're looking at doing maybe semis and four block um, townhouses, you could maybe get your house per acre up to 14, 16 houses per acre. Um, the other big thing about, and this is something that people say, is I, I have two acres of land. If it's not a good proportion, you can't use it all. Um, I hit triangular pieces. You know, if you think about it, you've got a triangle like that. Well, actually you've got a, a corner over here and a corner over here and a bit of a corner over here that you can't use. So the perfect piece of land is actually oblong shape, rectangular shape. But, um, yeah, there's no magic number in how many you should do.